Hello and welcome back to the second round of the St George Summer Series. For those of you that haven't been following, the St George Summer Series happens uh, at night at uh, the Sydney Motorsports Park, which is uh, formerly known as Eastern Creek. And uh, it happens under lights. All these lights here are on around the circuit. We uh, have three races. We get uh, one 10 minute practice, uh, which is also a qualifying session. And then it's straight into racing and we get three races. It's fairly rapid fire and uh, fairly exciting. So let's see how we go tonight. Riding these events isn't part of my championship program, so I'm not being paid to be here. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I'm paying to um, have this opportunity. I think it's a valuable investment in my own preparation because it allows me to keep racing during the off season when, you know, if I was back in the UK at this point, it'd be too cold to be out on any kind of uh, road racing circuit. So then I'd be forced just to try and uh, stay prepared and ready with inside training like gym work, which I despise, or riding around in the mud on a motocross bike. In terms of this competition this weekend, uh, our, our report is that for somebody who wants some of the long series to be successful here in Australia. Um, there's not a there's not a huge um, load that, that, that bears on this event, you know, uh, contract wise or anything sponsorship wise anything like that, but uh, you know, like I said before, it was important uh, to start the British Championship out uh, last year after uh, having a, an off-season with racing in. Uh, it's easier to, to start the season and not have a massive time away from, from racing. So, uh, you know, that's why you know, I'm obviously motivated to try and support racing in Australia um, in any way I can, but to, to be able to support racing in Australia and take part in it, um, it's perfect because it uh, gives me an opportunity to prep for the start of the, the new season. I find it easier to maintain your fitness and you know, sharpness, let's say, than to have a long period away and then have to try and bring your speed and awareness and everything back up to the, to the level and the threshold that it needs to be for competition. So there's a racing and well, environment or opportunity to continue racing throughout the off season and I found that that's a better option. These events are a part of a club series. It's not a 
Australian Championship level, but um, like me, a lot of the Australian Championship riders using this uh, off-season period to um, prepare for the coming season or just to, like me, maintain racing during the off-season so they don't have a big build-up to try and get up to speed. So for most rounds of this series, the level will be set to the standard of what Australian Superbike Championship competition will be. And at some rounds, uh, who turns up will determine how strong the competition is.
We've got some celebratory stuff. Uh, got recognition of this award when I was away, I think, racing in Macau. So I wasn't able to uh, be there on the night to uh, receive it. But um, it's, it's great to uh, receive some recognition. I hope I do actually bring recognition to the Australian racing and, and more uh, importantly, motorcycle in New South Wales. So, yeah, it's a great pleasure to, to receive the award and hopefully, yeah, there's more... Um, Exposure to racing in Australia as a result of what I can do. Thank you very much. Road race rider of the year for 2023, Joshua Brooks. Well done, congratulations again, Joshua. We'll see you back up here later. Well done again, Josh. Thank you for being such a good patron for our sport. So that's everyone finished up, packing up, leaving. It's been, uh, as you can probably see from the sweat on my face, it's been a really hot day here. Uh, it's still quite uh, hot here tonight. The pace was uh, quite strong and I unfortunately only was able to manage a third and two seconds. So I need to improve something, either gain some more skills or, or improve the motorbike. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I did. I felt like I rode the best that I could. I, I put uh, all my best efforts forward, so yeah, we'll just have to uh, see what we can improve before the next round, and the next round's a double header, so it's a Friday and Saturday night, so it's quite important that we improve something and uh, put, a, put a stronger fight up and try and get back at the front.